So before we get started, I just want to point out that a lot of shades in this palette definitely remind me of the scene from Mulan. And I also wanted to point out that the wallpaper that I'm using in my video is one of the shades Sakura Blossom. It is that flower tree behind Mulan, so I don't want you guys to think that this is like a spring tutorial. <laughs> welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new. My hair is going crazy. You guys just seen my new fall intro video. I think fall finally rolled in on Saturday. It does not feel or even look like full outside so that's why I have not been able to record any of my full videos yet. I'm really excited for today's video. We have some hush makeup. Two or three weeks ago, on the 5th of this month, September, Hush was doing a giveaway with Bad Habit. They recently came out with some dupes for Pat McGrath's newer palettes. So on the left are the Bad Habit palettes and on the right are the corresponding um, Pat McGrath palettes. Pat McGrath's palettes are, I think they're $125 and Bad Habit has come out with palettes that are either about $24 or $25 that are dupes for her palettes. So they've done the Mystics palette, the Mythos palette, and now this one is going to be the Mystere palette. So it's part of their Lux series. That I'm going to get started unboxing this. All right, so in here we have the invoice oh okay wait a minute it says total quantity three they sent the bad habit mystere palette the cara free gift false lashes and the clean color free gift madly matte lipstick random so random shade oh that was so nice they um added some more stuff when i open it up here's how everything looks so i actually see four things in here all together so we have the cara eyelashes a hundred percent Human hair, um, hashtag WSP, so I'm guessing that stands for Wispy, Wispy Lashes. Those lashes look really, really promising, so I cannot wait to apply these. Clean color, madly matte lipstick in the shade Fearless. It looks like a hot pink shade. So I'm really excited to see how this is going to look. I'm just going to... I'm gonna say that's not pink it looked pink around the tube but this actually looks red but when I swatch it it kind of looks like that hot pink shade then I see another thing that wasn't on that invoice it says what is this liquid blender cleanser sample size not for resale but sharing is okay great for makeup brushes too but here is a mini blender slash brush well sponge slash brush makeup remover I didn't use this earlier I just like, I literally, before I came on camera, I just cleaned um, some of my brushes off. I'm going to try this out. Finally come across the palette. So here is the beautiful packaging. And as I'm feeling this, I can feel like on this part right here and around here, this part definitely feels a little bit, like, lifted. I don't know how you would, um say it. I guess you can kind of say like it's embossed on here or something. They said that this is inspired by the Japanese culture. That's what they're called? A geisha? I can't remember. I'm going by that um, movie. So here is the palette and again I could still feel like where it's lifted up right here like it's tearing across and it says bad habit mystere and on the back they have the shade names. Look at how beautiful. It says Colt Mystere and it comes with an excellent quality mirror. So it comes with this little paper. Let's get to the paper in a second. I'm just gonna show you guys the shade. This palette, it feels so heavy. Colt Mystere, welcome to Mystere. These 10 shadows feature two unique formulas six luxuriously smooth pressed powder shades and four silky baked powder shades infused with a dash of cream. These shades this way are pressed powders. Apply using a brush for best blendability. For a more intense payoff, use a dampened brush. And these four shades over here are baked powders for maximum payoff and shine apply using a finger shrine a shimmery pink shamisen shimmer black and silver kabuki dance matte brown silk kimono duochrome white and pink kira blossom duochrome pink and gold lacquer lush matte black tea ceremony shimmery bronzy gold oh my arm hurts hold on 
Plum Wine, Shimmer Purple, Kintsugi, Duochrome Green Gold, and Maiko, Duochrome Blue Purple. These seem all really pigmented and pretty smooth. Should I take a picture before I wipe this off? <laughs> I feel like I should take a picture to show some swatches. All right, so actually, before I started on the eye look i wanted to go ahead and try these lashes on and see how i had to cut them but here's how they're looking so far and they definitely look really wispy they are a little bit on the thin side they don't look like full lashes now i'm gonna prime my eyes with my ColourPop no filter concealer first gonna go in with the shade kabuki dance and i'm gonna take this on this fluffy brush this is the morphe m501 brush this is like the brush i usually use for highlighting but i also love it for applying shades into the crease when i don't want to like really pack on the shade in the crease and i just want a nice diffuse blended out look and so far as i'm patting it in there's no fallout but it does pick up a lot oh and i actually forgot i always love to go in with the brow bone highlighter first and then go in with the eyeshadow because I feel like when I do the brow bone highlight after it kind of takes away from the eyeshadow but we're just going to keep going anyway. So I'm going to do one eye on camera and just edit out the other eye off camera because I don't like to waste too much time. Highlight my brow bone with the shade Shrine because again I do like to highlight the brow bone before. How, like when you do the brow bone highlight after you add it it just kind of like takes away the eyeshadow and then you have to like go back in so now on a small tapered brush this brush is the elf tapered blending brush i'm gonna go in with the shade lacquer lush and i'm only gonna take just a little bit of this shade and apply that deeper into the crease and i did say a little bit that's really pigmented because I swear I did not pick up a lot on the brush. This blending brush from Morphe, this was just in their brush set and just blend these shades together. I think I might have to go back in with some more of that brown shade. And they're really blending out nicely, it's not giving me a hard time. I am just going to go back in with a little bit more of the brown shade though. back in with that big brush all right so now that that's pretty much blended together my brush is shedding wow look at that morphe brush just shedding mm -mm -mm. and sticking out everywhere but i think i'm going to start off with the shade plum wine and apply that all over the lid i think i'm going to do like a halo eye on this flat morphe brush and i'm not spraying my brush because again i do want to see how these shades perform without any help and the shape does have a little bit of fallout but again fallout never bothers me all right so i do feel like i'm just gonna try to apply the shade with my finger I definitely feel like it sticks to the eye a lot better when you apply it with your finger because I feel like all of the product is still in the brush. Alright, so on the sitter part, I am going to go in with the shade Secura Blossom and just apply that on the center. Not wetting my, well, maybe I will have to wet my brush because nothing picked up on the brush. I'm going to try it with my finger first. So I'm going to go ahead, clean this up, go off camera, and then come back so we can finish the lower lash line. Alright, so I'm back on. I did all of my other makeup. Thinking for the lower lash line, I could start off by using the shade Kabuki Dance, a little bit of it this time. And I'm just going to run that shade on the lower lash line. Just kind of like as a base for the other shade. I don't know which one I want to start off with first because I think I'm going to use these two shades for the lower lash line. I'm going to take the shade Kintsugi 
and apply that directly on the lower lash line. Let's see, do I have the right brush for it? All right, all of it is falling down. I think I'm gonna have to add some more setting powder to my lower lash line because this is not gonna work. Some extra powder, and I'm not bake. <coughs> Ooh, I'm not baking. Adding a layer so that the um, eyeshadow will catch the powder, or the powder will catch the shadow. Right. I'm just gonna take some of my NYX Dewy setting spray if there's any left, and spray it on this flat like definer brush I really don't like to spray my brush and then dip it into the shadow because last time I did that with the Anastasia highlighter it kind of got clumpy I'll try to pick it up on the outer part all right all right it's definitely sticking better shade is looking it definitely stuck better to the eye but now I'm gonna take the shade my eco that purple bluish one and I'm gonna apply that under the shade I need to wet my brush again these shades are really pretty I think I'm just gonna drag that up some so I went ahead, dusted away the um, extra powder I had under my eyes, and so far this is how the eye look is looking. I do think it looks pretty cool. It's a lot more like festive. <laughs> I do feel like with those two shades that I used on the lower lash line, spraying them, they do become a little bit more chunky, which is not you know a good idea for the lower lash line but i still think it came out pretty good go in with the shade silk kimono which is another baked shadow and this is another duochrome shade that's like a uh white and like a pale pink and gold so i feel like that would go good in the inner corner so i'm gonna try that here's how it's looking i'm not even gonna bother just applying it like that i'm gonna spray the brush first Alright, so I don't know if you guys can see, but it's definitely looking more pink, like a light pink shade. Definitely looks a little bit more white in the pan, but it looks pink on the inner corner. Okay, I think I'm just going to apply a little bit of it on the center right here. Let's see, did that do anything? I think it did something. Yeah, it did do a little something something. I would have liked if that shade was a little less pink going in the inner corner and a little bit more of like this white shade, but it's totally fine. It's, it's fine. to stay on I put my scar on but I do feel like they're a little bit too cheap so that's why they're not staying down and they were trying to bend up on me but when I had the glue on them I did kind of bend them downwards a little bit so they're easier to apply I do like them a lot I love the wispy style of them but I feel like the band may just be a little bit too flimsy to try on this lipstick it probably won't go with this look so I won't keep it on but I'll just try it out Wow, that is really pigmented, like one swipe. I'm really starting to feel it. <laughs> oh wow, it's like when I took my hair down, the lighting got brighter. Hmm, okay. I'm actually kind of feeling this look. I feel like the pink may be a little much <laughs> for this look, but I am liking it. I feel like my bangs might peel, take off my lashes, so I'm just going to move them out the way. No, I like the bangs better. So far with the palette, I have to say I love the packaging. The shades are really pigmented and beautiful. You do have to work with a few shades. Like I can't stop looking at this lipstick. It looks so pretty. But you do have to work with a few shades. Like either use your finger or use a brush to help them stick better or 
to be a little bit more vibrant. The shades are really smooth. I love the shade selection of the palette. You could do so many looks with this palette and you have cool tones and warm tones. It's excellent quality and it is pretty heavy. Let me just show you guys the palette again. So it's the Bad Habit Cult Mystere. On the back you have the shade names and all of that going on. And at the top it says Cult Mystere. It became kind of like this festive look. So I did like kind of like a halo spot eye. I did kind of wing out the like the lower lash line a little bit. As you guys can see it looks like a floating floating wing and while it does say like it's a matte lipstick it's very comfortable it's not drying to me it's a little bit more like a satin finish and hopefully the next videos will be full videos because this weather outside is summer like it's still 80 and 90 degree weather outside so hopefully the fall weather will be rolling around soon so we can get these full videos out here yeah I hope you guys enjoyed please don't forget to give this video a like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video